Good morning. I want to continue with this where my previous talk um, started. First, what um, Warri told us about uh, power, and uh, second is practicability. So that people, are, our colleagues, coaches, have no more time, not enough time, to do complete biomechanical analysis. Big Federation, they can have a biomechanist, a full-time job, and uh, to, to do this uh, whole, manage all equipment and the measurement, uh, etc. For the practical reason, we started um, years before uh, with uh, with a different system. One of those, or few of those, uh, of Valerie mentioned as well. And then I find out that it was completely too complicated for the athletes or for the coaches. Take too long time. With the developing of outriggers, even that becomes very, very complicated with this a new design of outriggers and the uh, wall lock systems. Uh, it is almost then need a one, one day time to, to set the thing that properly. So we designed this uh, orb power meter. Uh, it is around here, it's a piece of uh, basically bending sensor uh, which uh, can be fixed to the, to the loom inside or inboard or outboard but close to the uh, fulcrum and this thing is equipped with the string gauges inside and uh, um, angular velocity sensor or gyro which gives us enough information to measure the power. Well, it's all this, uh, almost everything about the power. So that what I want to do is to have uh, as much as possible precise instrument to measure the power or to have equal or similar information what we're getting for rowing machines. We are operating a very precise with the wattage in a, uh, in a laboratory or in a, on the regular training on the ergometer. But uh, on, in a boat, the most of the information coming from the boat speed. Boat speed and uh, power, that's uh, related also what I mentioned before, is uh, uh, for rising uh, at the velocity, power rising at a cube. So the very small differences in both velocity can have a huge differences in the power. So if you have your, for your athletes all very nice and very good specified zone of the trainings, small differences in a speed can have an impact that you are over in another zone or you are just below, below this from a physiological point of view. So the, what we are doing is a basic measurement of the uh, forces and angular velocity. From these two parameters, we can measure exactly power, and that is power on the on the grip, on the handle, what is the, the closest contact to the to the athletes. That just to, the whole system is coming with a with. A, power meter itself uh, and then one Android tablet or telephone. Why Android? Because it's, it's a cheap one, it's cost effective, uh, probably none of you will, will take your, your own private telephone with you, so we are providing also in a package one phone, Android phone, which does the work and then display everything what, what, what you need and then uh, no problem about losing, getting wet or whatever. All another thing is like a waterproof bag or charger on a clamp that's, that's an accessory which is not that's a, 
Um, again, a bit about history. We, we stopped um, in the 97 doing this bending sensor. That was also strain gauge technology. And at that time we could do only with the wires so and with the cables. And then also the that that was the next generation uh, with the, also with the cooperation with the, that time with the, uh, with Valerie we made this uh, with a, with a small monitor where you can take where the athletes can take in a boat and have a directly feedback about the power about the angle about the um, stroke rate etc. But it took time to put it on a, on a on out uh, out figures and then. It was calibrated, it was okay, but it's still very time consuming and you need a lot you need to spend the time to do this. It becomes very complicated with the uh, with the new design of out triggers. This kind of design on out uh, or locks do not fit to the modern out trigger. So the um, we used, as I mentioned, the, the uh, telephone Android system, which this uh, uh, Passport Hub. It's an application which everybody can download for free, um, and then uh, there is one uh, uh, option in uh, settings. If you click ten times very fast on a, on a on an icon user you can go in a demo mode and you can have information about this, how this thing, uh, uh, application is working and which, which kind of information sent to Power meter um, can be fixed inside uh, um, so that's here In the inboard or outboard, so it depends. A lot of people, are calling people, especially ladies, they prefer to have this on the outboard because they feel differences in the, on on a grip. On but the quality of information is the same if you calibrate this properly. Uh, to keep it waterproof as much as possible, we have no external switcher, so we have just a simple magnet. You have to slip over the, this green line, and then, then uh, the, the device is switched on. It, it works like uh, any Bluetooth device, so you have to pair your Telephone or smart, you know, with the uh, with the power meter through the Bluetooth line. Bluetooth has to be for or this low energy gen new generation. Otherwise, you cannot download the app. With Play Store will not allow you to recognize which which kind of your. Uh, telephone is and do not download, allow you to download the, the software. Just normal, normal pairing. You can put your name on or your athlete's name. At the same time, if you if you want to use a Strava or Twenty Peaks, you have to put your you open your account on on those and then. To specify what the, this platform are asking for you, like basically it's a name and a password, so that you can have access to the to this platform afterwards after your training. Calibration, it is important thing, so that it, it's a standard calibration. Once you put in the with a clamp or the, the or power meter on inboard or outboard and then you have to hang a certain weight, certain mass and to let's say to teach electronic that it's a 10 kilogram or 15 kilogram or 20 kilogram or whatever it is. It, it is doesn't matter 
which kind of weight you are using, or I mean how man, many kilograms you are using. It can be 10 or 15 or 20 kilograms or 12 point, whatever. You, you have to specify inside in, a, in this uh, dialogue here uh, to set it. There is on the setting is also another information like uh, uh, battery level inside the, the power meter, which is rechargeable and take about 20 hours. Uh, before you have to need to, to recharge, but there is a specified in a percentage here. Um, that dialogue on a phone leads you through the calibration procedure. And then one, once it's, it's done, just uh, press the finish, calibration finish, and that's it. And then you can see here, on the, uh, on the, you can specify left or right hand, or because we are measured only on one side, not on the on the first calling, left and right. To ex my experience, we got mass of n numbers of thousands of, of tests, and there is no big differences in a force output between the left and right hand side. So in the total, if you measure on the one side, it, it's just enough to, to get uh, reasonable information and a bit of accuracy on a, on a power side. You have to specify sweep or sculling. And then also, because we are, we are doing a measuring a torque basically, to calibrate this, you have to specify distance between the fulcrum and the point where you, you put your weight for the calibration. That, that is, let's say that's uh, 88 centimeter my, and in the middle of the grip, minus 7 grip, is so normally about uh, 14 centimeter long, that's in the middle, put in the middle and we specify this as a, um, 800 uh, tan or 81 centimeter. Okay, just. Uh, one thing is also that we have a heart rate uh, measurement. There is another sensor if you wear a chest belt, a Bluetooth chest belt. Same same thing. It's uh, just a pairing uh, with a. Uh, uh, with, with the telephone and then um, information for chest belt to the Bluetooth going also in, inside in the, in the app. Very, we are using a GPS signal from telephone to measure the speed and the distance. For those people who want to have, so you have to check, there is a dialogue here um, box to check if you want to use the GPS signal. If not, for some reason, People are prefer to have, a, um, let's say, pace or or a, a speed or, or whatever. The, similar like on a Concept2 machine. Concept2 doing this from the wattage, and if you are not checking this box with the GPS, we you will have a same information like on a rowing ergometer Concept2. So that it will be not something like a, a 500 meter pace meter meter pace or like uh, in a single skull, it will be like something what uh, Concept 2 is uh, displaying. Yeah, before start you have to go to, to check uh, set zero and then to, to go with the upset, it's going down too fast now. Yeah, that's the set zero. And that is what I mentioned before, it's a pairing with the uh, chest belt heart rate monitor. We are using very good, is, uh, for example, Polar one, but because athletes are using and uh, can see the, in a, on a watch heart rate in the same time, and chest belt is sending also to the Bluetooth, to the, to the telephone or tablet. So you can uh, have in data as well on the, in, in, in this program in, in the application.
just to start real time monitoring it is uh, like uh, like this we, we're making uh, also uh, 100 times per second on this, from the strain gauge the signal is going, coming at 100 times per second so we can draw very nice and very precise uh, stroke profile and the, and the force curve and at the same time you have uh, on an ax, uh, axle it's not visible here good but uh, on an uh, ax is, uh, is a um, degree and a pooling angle on the Y axle is a force in the Newton. So the profile of the uh, of the curve, you can see it's not nice and smooth. We are not smoothing this. We are we're doing as it is it coming to the uh, as a, as it is. So it can be some jumps inside and but it is like it is uh, from very very sensitive and then um, sensitive. On the next screen here, you, you can um, select a variable, what you can, like a map, a graph, to see how this distribution is coming from power or heart rate or stroke rate or whatever over the time. So one stroke is one dot, and then it, it's, it's a, like, a, like a monitoring over the time. Um, if you do not want to have the graphs, maybe it will be too much information. Uh, maybe for uh, athletes for sure, but if the athletes wear a um, tel uh, telephone inside the boat on the foot, foot, foot stretcher, they can have a big numbers just to, to see on a better on a daylight, on a sunny day. It's not easy to, to read the numbers, so we put the big numbers here. And there you can select uh, uh, which which one of uh, uh, information you want to have, like uh, distance or stro uh, stroke rate, and or the, the whole screen is divided in the three area. It, this one is uh, like on a concept two ergometer. It's a time, stroke rate, and then in the middle you can just sweep to this, those points. You can have different different screen with different information, uh, and also also here down it's a third part of the screen where you can select whatever you want to have. So the combination of those two can fit any any need or, no, or any. Uh, the, for example, here it is a power, and then you can have a, in the same time. Uh, speed and power and saying okay if I'm doing like uh, whatever 350 how what is the the result of the how fast I am going with this or yeah displaying also um, angle pooling angle Heart rate and calories and all those things. It's uh, yeah, just uh, to see here. Um, on, on this screen, you can see. Oops, uh, sorry. You can see in uh, in on one screen you have a pooling angle, total angle, and also slip and wash. In different to the to the. Um, our old system or another system what is on the market is that zero degree is normally orthogonal to the position of the or orthogonal position to the to the both length axle. We have no with this system we have no reference points. We do not know where is a zero. We know that the zero is on the catch and uh, in this case, 92 degrees on the on the end of the stroke. So we do not split uh, uh, stroke from in a catch phase and release phase. It's it's in one, but it is relatively easy to find out where it's the 90 degrees if you put the 
saw hole them in a catch and then measure from this point with a little bit trigonometry you can find out where the, the orthogonal position is and how many uh, degrees is it in, in a, on the circle. On the end, uh, when you press uh, stop button and save, it's automatically come this the screen, which gives you summary of, of your your work workout, and then all, when you store data in a, in a workouts, you will have a list of uh, all workouts what you've done or with the different people, but you have to specify a name. You can recall this, and then, can you press please with the, on a video? Sorry. Sorry, and thank you, Alan. There is 28 different variables. Calculate from, basically from angle and from to have to select what you want to see from all those, you can specify everything what is a gray. Uh, it, it it is it will be displayed on a, on a one screen. Um, also, there there is another screen. It's a Average of all all strokes, what you have here, what you done, what uh, your athlete done, or if you if you go in the average, but if you want to see all strokes, you will have this overlap it and over each one into another. Also displaying in angle and in the forces in your important thing is to, to see that. It's real measurement, and you can see that it's uh, like a signature. All strokes repeat every time for a long time. It's, uh, it's the same, same mistake, and uh, obviously something is missing here on the stroke. There's a link, something is wrong with this. Also, you can select um, in, on one screen, if you press this button, you can select which parameters you want to see. If it is a power and, and stroke rate and heart rate, for example, you will have a, a map over the over the strokes over the time. Basically, one dot is one stroke. So, can for example, if you are doing a 2,000 meter uh, race, you can see your profile how it is going. It's a, probably it will be on the start higher. Uh, then it's going to the to the middle part of the with the constant power output and the finish again. As I said, you can upload to the Strava or Twenty Peaks. At the moment, we are looking forward to see from from guys from uh, like uh, um, rowers. Uh, doing there's a platform that you can have a uh, rowing specific uh, information on on your your athletes on the, on a platform. Uh, so uh, you can do this after the training, or you can do this um, in real time theoretically because the app is ready to send. Telemetry by telemetry in real time using a Wi-Fi or or mobile phone data transmitting. So theoretically, we can display everything in real time somewhere on a on a cloud on a platform, which is also theoretically, if you want to have uh, 20 of your athletes and you in front of your, your computer you can see all 20 on one screen that that is idea behind so we are not as a Weber company we are not geared to do this because i believe that the guys who are doing only that are much more in in material and they know to, how to do so we are waiting to to have an opportunity to link uh, and send our data 
to the platforms like rovers or whatever. Uh, training peaks and and uh, Strava, for example, they are more uh, triathlon or more biking, not very rowing specific. Uh, another thing is that, uh, for example, if you have your athletes in a boat and they are doing one round, whatever, four kilometers, two kilometers, they press the stop, save the data, and can send to you as a coach straight from the boat information in a summary. So, assuming that you have a, a SIM card in your telephone or in a tablet, so that through the mobile phone data communication you can send information straight to, to another telephone using uh, this normal programs to uh, communicate like uh, WhatsApp, Viber, mails, whatever. Uh, that, that, that is standard state of art of the communication so you can send a file and immediately we can, as a coach, you can have this in a, on your phone and it looks exactly what's going on. If you are not <coughs> If you are not in a, in, a, uh, in a motorboat, but I can display. For those people who want to, to have more information and, and play around with the, with the raw data, because we are sampling 100 times per second per channel, and there is an eight channel of the, from gyro, acceleration, etc., and the strain gauges. We are, we are storing data in a, in a tablet or in a telephone, Again, um, 100 times per second per channel. So you can open this in, uh, in Excel and then do whatever you want to do with this. this uh, and there is a one. Helen may have a video, hopefully, it works. As I said, you, there, there is uh, two options how to do this. You can send. Uh, give the telephone to the to the athlete in the boat, or as I did it, I was in a motorboat close to the to the to the rowing boat, and then have this on on my my uh, my phone. So that that is how the system is working, and um, simple. I cannot do this. Simplest or for less money, I cannot do this. And the whole thing is, uh, it, it's a little bit commercial, if you do not mind. It's a, it costs 550 euros, including telephone. It is just uh, uh, easy and simple to use. Athletes can do it themselves, Ch exchanging uh, information is going very fast, straightforward. Now it, it's going immediately, so you have immediate feedback, or after a few minutes you have a new telephone. Or for biomechanists, if they want to do it, to spend the time to have a more insight, like doing a, a drawing trajectory of your grip, of your blade, of whatever they they, they want to do. They can do this with the raw data. Thank you.